morning everyone, I'm Gina Bereda and today I'm going to discuss three national building codes of the Philippines. One is the electrical and mechanical regulation, two is the photographic and x-ray films, and lastly is the prefabricated construction. Section 1301 for electrical regulations, I'm only going to focus my discussion on attachments on and clearances from buildings. So for this part of the code, an attachment plan approved by a professional electrical engineer shall cover power lines, cables, transformers, and other electrical um, equipment installed on or in buildings and shall be submitted to the local building official. So in Davao City, the Office of the City Building Official, or OCBO, is a local government office which implements regulations and requirements for the construction, alteration, repair, conversion, use, occupancy, and demolition of buildings. So this is an example of a clearance diagram of a building. As you can see, it has its necessarily, um, necessary clearances on the different sides of the building. Section 1302, Mechanical Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. Under this code, I'm only going to focus on five um, rules. So one is the effective temperature and relative humidity of the air to be used for comfortable cooling shall be maintained at 20 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius and 50% to 60% respectively with 4.60 to 7.60 meters per minute air movement within the living zone. Water from evaporators, condensers, and other machinery shall be properly collected into a suitable water or drainage system. Docks shall be constructed entirely of non-combustible materials such as steel, iron, aluminum, or other approved materials, and only fire retardant lining shall be used on the inside of the docks. Access doors shall be provided at all automatic dumpers, fire dumpers, thermostats, and other apparatus requiring service and inspection in the dock system. Fire doors and fire dumpers shall be arranged to, uh, close, automatically, to close automatically and remain tightly closed upon the operation of a fusible link or other appropriate activated device located where readily affected by an abnormal rise of temperature in the dock. So next is the photographic and x-ray films. Basically, section 1401 uh, focuses, focuses on storage and handling of photographic and x-ray films. So one is that automatic fire extinguishing systems shall be provided for those storage rooms of unexposed photographic and x-ray films in the following wing cases where a when an exposed film is generally generally accepted safety shipping containers exceed the aggregate of 14 cubic meters b is where shelving used for storage of individual packages not in said shipping containers exceeds 1.40 cubic meters C. Storage is not generally accepted. Safety shipping containers in any section not exceeding 14 cubic meters. Second is that film negatives in storage or in process of handling shall be kept in heavy manila envelopes. Third, no films shall be stored within 600 millimeters of steam, pi steam pipes. And fourth, there shall be first aid provisions of types of using water or water solutions. So lastly is the prefabricated construction. So what is prefabricated construction? It is the practice of assembling a variety of components of a structure at a, ma at a manufacturing site and transporting those sub-assemblies to the location of the construct construction job site. Prefabricated construction is sometimes thought of as a low-end and mass-produced mode of construction. Prefabricated assembly is a structural unit, the integral parts of which have been built up or assembled prior to incorporation in the building. It shall be made of precast concrete 
or other construction materials as acceptable to the architect or the engineer. Second is, special tests are carried out by any accredited material testing laboratory in order to determine the structural adequacy, um, durability, soundness, weather, and fire resistance of prefabricated assemblies. Lastly, uh, the anchorage and the connections between the members and the supporting structures of the framework or walls shall be capable of withstanding both probable external and internal forces or all other structurally suitable construction requirements. That would be all. Thank you.